help us better understand the mechanisms of drought adaptation that may exist among the different varieties that we're evaluating in our drought trials, we can utilize metrics like leaf relative water content. While measurements of water potential determined from a pressure bomb are useful in understanding the degree of water stress plants are experiencing, as well as for addressing questions relevant to water transport in the soil plant atmosphere continuum, measurements of water potential do not account for osmotic adjustment under drought. Determination of plant capacity for osmotic adjustment is important as it can serve as a mechanism of conserving cellular hydration under drought. For example, while plant water potential may be similar between two plants, differences in the relative hydration of their leaf tissue may exist. For measurement of leaf relative water content, time of day will have a major effect on plant water status. So decisions on where and when to collect samples for determination of leaf relative water content are extremely important and may depend on species, environment, and the question at hand. For this metric, we would take leaf punches throughout the newest fully expanded leaf in the canopy of a given variety, like so, and taking several of these punches, storing them in these airtight containers, we will take these back to the lab, get the fresh weight of these discs, and then suspend these discs in deionized water so they can absorb additional water that they may have expelled through transpiration, and then we will dry and reweigh these samples so we'll get the fresh weight, the turgid weight, and the dry weight of these samples.